Hi, this is Miss Santi. So I finally got the AP Classroom set up, and I'm hoping it's going to show up good for you guys. Um, you have to go in and put in your join code, which I put into your course when you look at join the AP College class. You know, it, it'll tell you. All right. Now, I do not know how it looks for you guys yet because I don't have a student in here yet. And until I have a student in there, I can't see what the student view looks like. However, I noticed when I opened up, I opened up a bunch of these things for you guys to take a look at. And if you notice, this is my number one page. And so this is, I just assigned all this stuff. It's open-ended so you guys can do it independently. All right. However, okay, so when you do this, you can see, though, that the last things that I assigned are on the first page. So that means you might have to go back to find the chapter that corresponds with chapter one or chapter two or chapter three, and those I have to unlock. So if you see a lock and you're there, that's like a, that's like a chapter test. So if you get that far and you need it and it's locked, just email me and say, hey, can you check this for me, please? All right, so like if you're doing the cultural influences on prehistoric art, this is where you're at. So you have to come back and find this. And they have different videos about how to do all sorts of fun things. If you look at this one, here, materials, processes, and techniques in prehistoric art. So they have these in all of them. So it tells about how to describe your, vil your visual elements specifically for an artwork that corresponds to that chapter. So that should help you out quite a bit. It should also help you out if you notice they go and... See here, you've got your materials, processes, and techniques in that art in prehistoric art. And I think the last one's on concept. Well, I might hit that one twice. Your theories and interpretations. So you got different ones. These are not very long. Um, so, you know, it just depends on what you want to do. All right. So, um, you know, and again, this is independent. So you don't have to do these things, you know, but... When it comes time to review, um, you're going to have access to this where you're not going to have access to semester one in your WVS um, Florida, Florida Virtual School one. All right, so this will be very handy to go through and use when it comes time to review for your AP college test in May. All right. So I just wanted to show you that. You might have to go back a little bit and to find the correct ones. And again, so like you're going to go in and like Sears, um, there's the quiz. So two is on Mediterranean art is in two or something. And I'm not sure if that's the correct one for our number two or not. But you can go through things and check it out and see what you got. So it's interesting um, that they have it. And I think a lot of these will be very helpful for um, you when it comes time to do your essays and stuff. Oops, sorry about that. So that's all I wanted to tell you about that. And so pretty quick and easy, but just so you know, this is where we got it. And that's how it works. I'm assuming. If it's not working that way, then we'll go in together and figure it all out on a Zoom thing.